Welcome to Tech Packs. In today's video, we'll explore an innovative project designed to assist elderly and disabled individuals through gesture-based communication using a smart glove equipped with flex sensors. The primary goal of this project is to create a smart glove that detects different finger gestures using flex sensors and sends corresponding commands to a remote location via IoT. These commands can be used to communicate needs and emergencies effectively. For many elderly and disabled individuals, communicating their needs can be challenging. This smart glove aims to bridge that Washroom. gap by allowing them to send predefined gestures Hungry. that translate into voice messages for caregivers, ensuring prompt and accurate help. assistance. Let's take a closer look at the components that make up this innovative project. Flex sensors. These are attached to each finger to measure the degree of bending. ESP32 microcontroller, the brain of the system that processes sensor data and handles IoT communication. Lithium-ion battery, 1800 Mars 3 points, powers the entire system. Battery charging module, ensures the battery remains charged and ready for use. Connecting wires, used to connect all the components. Glove, the base material on which all components are mounted. Here is the circuit design and schematic in detail. The attached circuit diagram illustrates the connections between the flex sensors, ESP32 microcontroller, and the power source. Each flex sensor is connected to an analog input pin on the ESP32, while the battery and charging module provide the necessary power. Now, let's move on to the assembly process with a step-by-step -step guide. 1. The flex sensors were attached to each finger of the glove using adhesive. Two. The wires from the flex sensors were connected to the corresponding analog input pins on the ESP32. 3. The battery was secured to the glove and the charging module was connected to the battery. 4. All connections were insulated and secured with electrical tape to ensure safety and durability. Next, Next. let's talk about programming the ESP32 microcontroller. We start by including the necessary libraries, ESPNow.h and Wi-Fi.h. These libraries allow us to use the ESP Now protocol for wireless communication. Next, we define the MAC address of the responder, which you'll need to edit based on your device. We also initialize variables to store the readings from the flex sensors and define the pins they're connected to. In the setup function, we begin by setting up the serial monitor at only when 5200 baud rate. We then configure the ESP32 as a Wi-Fi station and initialize ESP Now. If initialization fails, an error message is printed. After initialization, we register the send callback function to handle the data sent status and add the peer using the MAC address we defined earlier. Now, let's move on to the core of our project, reading sensor values and detecting gestures. The getFlexValue function reads the analog values from each flex sensor. The getGesture function maps these values to specific gestures based on predefined conditions. In the loop function, we continually read the flex sensor values and determine the current gesture. If the gesture changes, we send the new gesture value to the responder via ESP Now. A confirmation message is printed if the send is successful. Now for the exciting part, demonstration of the project. Please be silent. Washroom. Hungry. Hungry. Need help. Happy. Need milk. Need milk. Please be silent. Need water. Need water. Need help. Let's discuss the results. The smart glove accurately detected and transmitted gestures, demonstrating its potential as a communication tool for elderly and disabled individuals. The voice messages generated Washroom. provided clear instructions to caregivers, ensuring Hungry. prompt assistance. Looking ahead, there are several potential uses and enhancements for this project. Expanded Gesture Library, incorporate more gestures for a broader range of commands. 
enhanced communication, integrate with more robust IoT platforms for better reliability. User-friendly interface, develop a mobile app for easier configuration and monitoring. In conclusion, the Smart Glove project has the potential to revolutionize how elderly and disabled individuals communicate with their caregivers. If you found this project interesting, please like, share, and subscribe to TechPacks for more innovative projects. Visit our website to buy the complete project kit and access our recorded training program. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting content from TechPacks.